I will start uh, uh, with first introducing ourselves. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, we did the hackathon together uh, with Shristi uh, Shah. She's cloud consultant uh, from India uh, within the Rapid Circle, uh, together with Martin Fischer, his business consultant uh, within Rapid Circle, and me and myself, uh, Robert. Uh, I'm a principal consultant and also MVP, uh, and also working within Rapid Circle. So, um, yeah, what we're going to talk today is. Uh, Let's go to the next slide. Uh, first, some things globally around the team's global hack. Uh, we only have 15 minutes, so I try to keep it uh, uh, as fast as possible. And uh, we uh, also try to do some demo and, and uh, uh, some, some, some code uh, review on, on what, 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 did, what we did within the uh, uh, meeting app uh, we, we built. So, uh, well, first, we're going to uh, into more into the team's global hack. Then we uh, go into more. Okay, what was our scenario we built? Um, then we go into more some into the some techniques we used, like the uh, the live share SDK we used, uh, and some of those features uh, within that. Uh, and in the end, we give a, a, a short demo. So uh, yeah, for Everyone uh, who don't know uh, about the Teams Global Hack, the Teams Global Hack uh, was a global hackathon uh, run from June 1st till June 15th, um, and it was on creating a, an apps uh, an app for Microsoft Teams. Um, there were some specific uh, uh, categories like AI, uh, productivity, um, but you could just uh, uh, any kind of app for teams was feasible to, to add. Um, we thought, well, a lot of people will jump on the AI uh, uh, kind of things, uh, which was uh, introduced during build. Uh, but there were also some other uh, nice uh, new uh, features uh, uh, yeah, over there uh, on, on build. Uh, uh, so we thought, let's build something around the live share SDK, because we think this will really change how you can collaborate uh, during meetings and within your apps uh, uh, around that. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you would like to know more uh, around the, 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 the global hack, there's a link uh, within the presentation. We will share that later on. Um, yeah, and you can find more about uh, it, but also find all the, the solutions. Uh, there were around 60 solutions uh, uh, during the hack uh, created, so uh, yeah. You can find out more about them there and uh, go take a look there. So yeah, our live patient review app, uh, what, what, what did we actually uh, build? Uh, we built a Microsoft Teams meeting app. Um, and yeah, we were thinking about, OK, can we grab a real live uh, scenario uh, uh, we can support with these new techniques? Um, so yeah, we we thought about um, we, we're pretty much doing things within the healthcare. Um, so yeah, Martin came up with a, a really great scenario around uh, multidisciplinary consultation meetings, uh, which uh, are meetings which takes place within hospitals uh, in a physical room, and during those meetings, uh, yeah, the, the doctors discuss multiple cases mostly around four to six patients and uh, yeah uh, they go uh, through all those patients uh, what treatment uh, do they need or do they need change in medication or uh, through procedures which needs to be followed or other things um, and yeah those meetings uh, with 10 specialists or uh, around that that can take pretty much time around a few hours and and uh, one of the key challenges they 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 have around that is that those doctors are are often uh, uh, yeah need to leave the room because they have emergencies they have to go to and uh, yeah we thought what could we do to to support that and 
would it be great if those doctors could stay in the meeting while they're going to an emergency, maybe on their phone or get back into the meeting afterwards and still see what has been uh, talked about, uh, etc. So, yeah, if you want more information, there's also a link to uh, the Microsoft Sample Solution Gallery where it's uh, uploaded to, so you can find more uh, uh, around uh, it there. And of course, we will show uh, some more later on in the demo. Uh, so, yeah, as I said, one of the things we've used within uh, the, the our solution is the Live Share SDK. And yeah, for uh, all of you who don't know uh, around the Live Share SDK, uh, it was introduced uh, uh, during a build uh, last May, and uh, the Live Share SDK. It's an, an SDK designed to transform the Teams apps into collaborative multi-user experiences, uh, but without uh, writing any dedicated backend code. Um, so yeah, with Live Share, you can uh, your users can co-watch, co-create, and co-edit during meetings. Um, it seamlessly uh, integrates with the Fluid framework. And in the next slide, I will collaborate a little bit more on the Fluid Framework. Um, the, the Live Share uh, uh, within Teams uh, is uh, providing you with a, a fully free, uh, managed, and ready to use uh, Azure Fluid Relay. Uh, that's a resource within Azure, um, uh, supporting the Fluid Framework uh, service. Um, yeah, the Live Share SDK itself uh, consists of three three primary packages: uh, the Live Share Core, the Live Share Media, and the Live Share Canvas. Um, um, we only use the Live Share Core and the Live Share Canvas. Um, yeah, so in the Core and the Canvas have multiple uh, um, yeah features and and, and uh, objects you can use uh, to to really have that collaboration and and live updating. Uh, um, within your applications. So, for instance, you, there's a live share client, which makes it really easy to, for you to uh, um, yeah, connect to, to the Fluid Framework and Fluid Framework containers and create them. Um, and yeah, with, with the Azure Fluid Relay, you, you, you get, uh, you don't have to worry about all the plumbing around security and, and, and things like that. Uh, it's it's all in your own tenant. Um, everyone within the meeting has automatically uh, uh, access to that container. So all that security, et cetera, is uh, uh, yeah, taken away for you. And that, that's a really uh, a great thing around it. Um, yeah, there are all those things you could use within it. But it uh, also leverages all the uh, uh, features of the Fluid Framework, uh, where you can have shared maps, uh, 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 where uh, to to share your state uh, and your state objects uh, within your application and to all the clients connected to it. Um, another thing we uh, used was was a canvas. Uh, so the Live Share SDK also has as a live canvas. Uh, something like uh, the the uh, uh, how do you call it the the whiteboard uh, <laughs> where you can ink on and, and stuff like that and you have a laser pointer and uh, things like that uh, to your uh, proposal and uh, yeah you also have a real time mouse cursor with user info for instance and you can build. So yeah, the, the Fluid Framework, uh, as I said, that Azure Fluid Relay is a managed offering for the Fluid Framework that helps developers to build uh, real-time collaborative experiences and replicate state across uh, uh, connected JavaScript clients. Um, and the Microsoft Whiteboard, uh, Loop, and OneNote are all examples of apps built with the Fluid Framework today and using that Azure Fluid Relay. Um, so yeah, as I said, um, the the uh, uh, the Azure Fluid Relay is is there for you, uh, so you don't have to deploy anything to Azure uh, around that. 
Um, and yeah, it really helps to uh, replicate that state. So uh, as you can see uh, on the screen, uh, there's uh, if I click this remove button, uh, all the other users see that that user is removed, for instance. And you can really replicate that state change to all your clients. Uh, and it's really low latency, so it's really quick uh, in, 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 in updating all those clients. OK, um, for the time, I'm going through a little bit quicker because we only have 15 minutes. Uh, there is some things like live presence um, where you can have the, the state of the user and see the mouse cursor uh, for from the all users. Um, also, the live presence contains uh, current meeting user roles. Uh, we also uh, used it within the application uh, to see uh, where we can also hide certain things like uh, so only the organizer is able to do certain things within the application, etc. Um, and as I said, the live canvas where you can have inking, uh, mouse cursor, uh, but also uh, the laser pointer, which is really uh, handy, etc. Let's switch to the demo. I've already set up uh, a meeting where I've added our uh, uh, custom app. Uh, as you can see here, it's the live patient review. I already opened it. It's connected to the Fluid uh, uh, container. And uh, as you can see here, uh, I have two different users, but this user is not the organizer and doesn't see anything yet. And uh, this is the organizer, and he has the option to uh, add new patients. So yeah, we can add FESA. Was Luca also in? And John is also in. So as you can see, I'm adding new patients here, and instantly, real time, the other app is updated there. Um, because I'm the organizer, I can also remove uh, uh, users here. Um, we use the the, the live presence uh, object there. And that gives us back uh, every user within the meeting and its role. So we use that role to hide certain things within the application. Um, we can say, OK, we go to the next patient, et cetera. That's what the organizer can do. And we can also share the patients to the stage. And now you can see it's a little bit squeezed. We need some styling uh, here and there for the, the for some screen sizes, um, but uh, normally you see it a little bit wider. Um, and what we can do within the application here is uh, add some feedback. So uh, some feedback for Fesa. And each user can do that. So we decided that each user can add feedback. Uh, and maybe uh, another user uh, is, is called back uh, to an emergency and, and comes back later and, and can see, OK, what, what has been discussed, uh, but also can already add uh, some uh, uh, feedback for John here. Uh, and uh, do that already and then or come back later, etc. Yeah, you can really uh, yeah, do, do those scenarios like we did, we've did. we discussed for this uh, uh, live patient read. We also add an, an option to add an image where you can uh, choose a file. And uh, yeah, as you can see on the right side, uh, you can see I am there pointing. So the other users see is seeing what I'm doing and I can just ink on it. And uh, yeah, I can also say uh, I want a laser pointer. And uh, you see now a live laser pointer here. Seeing, OK, hey, that's great. So yeah, that's uh, uh, our scenario and, and what we did. Um, I'm pretty much almost out of time. So uh, 
I have uh, uh, also some code things prepared. Uh, so I'm not sure if I can go on a little bit. Um, we have a, a fluid live share. Um, and yeah, if, if you Robert, look into really Robert, sorry, let's be really fast in here because we do have two demos and we need to stop on yeah. our. So, but key is the, the scenario then, anyway. So. Yeah, that then then I'll I'll skip uh, uh, the code uh, uh, walkthrough. Um, thank you everyone uh, uh, for having us, and uh, I hope uh, you liked uh, our uh, yeah, our winning hackathon uh, solution. Thank you.